Yer. What's up, Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers? It's your boy No Name back at it with another New York Giants video. Today, the preview of the Giants versus Lions game taking place this Sunday at Four Field. You know, at the Giants. I mean, at the Lions home of play but before I get into the whole preview man I gotta get something off my chest I don't know guys I don't know if I don't know the direction that this team should head in right now I know I gave a lot of good reasons in my last I can't remember if it was either the Cardinals preview video or the Cardinals reaction video where um, I talked about why I don't think that we should start losing right and I'll, real quick, I'm going to list them back out for you here. But if you want a more in-depth type of conversation about it, go check out those vids. You know, the first reason I listed was this is how we know how the team plays right now. How well the team can perform right now. Um, you know, against all levels of competition throughout the NFL, throughout the NFL season. So we can see what works and what doesn't work. Another one is... Our team playing at their best, you know, playing at their full potential could only do good for our rookie quarterback and help him develop more. Help him build some real chemistry with everybody on the field. You know, not just, uh, I guess, if nobody gives it their all, like, I don't know, fake chemistry or something like that. And the third reason was for either respect to the game of football and respect to the fans and all that. You know, people are spending their hard on money to go see you play games, you know, to pay cable bill and whatnot to watch you play on TV. And then you go up and you stink up the joint. But all those, like, like I'm calling into question whether or not we should continue trying our hardest because what if that's what the Giants have been doing all along and we've seen it, uh, that it's just straight up not a good team right now. You know, there's been a lot of injuries and whatnot. There's uh, been a lot of weird coaching decisions, a lot of weird calls. What if that's just, you know, we peaked already in terms of with this squad, how it is right now? You know what, maybe, you know, save it for next year and all that. But I don't like that mentality because it's like you could say that about anytime you're in a bad rut, you know, anytime you're in a bad stretch. And then there's also, of course, like the, the most popular reason for tanking, which is, you know, get a high draft pick, which would be not only beneficial in the first round, but all rounds of the NFL draft. And that way you could get, you know, hopefully good players all rounds, you know, to fulfill all your needs. But that's not even a guarantee. I mean... There's a reason there's the term bust. You know, it's not about where you draft, it's about who you draft. But in general, right now, I'm conflicted because we're sitting here at 2 5 and it's like, what if we, you know, what if we round out the year with like a 6 7 win season, which is, you know, what I thought it was going to be initially? But we have more holes on the team than I thought we did. I thought the offensive line would have been shored up and we only needed to look for like a right tackle or something. Evidently, we still need a new left tackle and a right tackle, maybe even a new center. I thought we would need, uh, you know, just like one good pass rusher in the draft and, you know, one linebacker. I mean, you could still argue it's that way, but we might need to look for two pass rushers. I didn't think we would have a wide receiver problem, you know. Not in, you know, that we have two wide receivers that are like not talented or anything. They're just not getting open on any type of defense and that's worrying. And so we do need to look for somebody that can just, you know, get open. Whether that's via trade, you know, or that's at the draft, whatever the case is. It's just that the team has revealed a lot more holes to me than I previously thought. And I'm conflicted right now. I'm not going to come out and say, oh yeah, the Giants should continue winning. And I'm not going to uh, come out and say the Giants should start tanking. No, what I am going to do is I'm going to just go out and cheer for them and hope for the best. Whatever that may be, because sometimes, man, blessings comes in weird packages. Who knows? With that weird thing out of the way, <laughs> let's get into this Giants versus Lion preview. Now then, had we win the Cardinals game, I would have said this is a very winnable game. And it still is that on any given Sunday, who knows what could happen. But I honestly don't see us pulling this out uh, with the state that the team is in right now. You know, we're going up against a Lions team that are also have two wins on the year you could argue they've been robbed out of their uh win uh, against green bay and whatnot but in general it's a lions team that this year has been running the ball a lot more than in previous years but they're still very pass happy you know that's just the way matthew stafford is that's just the way their offense runs you got a defense out there that's average at best it has a lot of good players on the defensive line 
well not a lot you know it has a couple good players on the defensive line they traded away one of their best safeties uh for reasons unknown to me their secondary is all right uh their linebacking core is okay you know very, like the very definition of an average at best defense and that should be good for the giants but the thing is we played against a much worse defense in the cardinals last week and got molly whopped by them so who knows what could happen against this line's defense you know if i were to go up and break it down in stats i could be like all right the giants should perform okay but the truth of the matter is our uh, offense is struggling and it has been struggling since that tampa bay week three game you know uh daniel jones is out here he can't find any uh really o2 open wide receivers uh, you know, that once again goes back to the problem that the receivers aren't really getting open, the line can't protect him, he's getting sacked, which is a combination of the fact that sometimes the offensive line play is just terrible, and uh, along with the fact that DJ also holds on to the ball a lot. So, you know, it's a combo of things there. He definitely has a fumbling problem, which I hope is fixed before next year. So, you know, he got the entirety of the rest of the season to fix that. But as of right now, that's definitely a problem. And then there's the biggest problem in my opinion, which is that our coach just doesn't know how to call an offense, apparently. He calls all these head-scratching, you know, plays and, and, and sets out there that make no sense against the defenses and what the defenses are showing, uh, calling, you know, running plays on a third and 18 and all that. Listen, and that's added on to the fact that Saquon was apparently nicked up again last week against the Cardinals, which I saw. So you shouldn't even be going out there expecting... You know, a heavy load from Saquon, which even when he was healthy, Shermer just didn't know how to use him. And he would give him like around 18 carries at most, even when Saquon was healthy. So now expect, I don't know, maybe a 10 carry game from Saquon. We're going to see a lot more from Wayne Gallman and maybe even Buck Allen, the guy we picked up off of waivers. And that's going to be where we have to attack the Lions if we're trying to win this game. It's going to be in the run. It's not the worst part of their defense per se. Uh, they actually are ranked... 31st in the league against the pass, letting up over 420 yards a game, 428.9 to be exact. And they're ranked also t uh, 28th in rush. I mean, 31st in the league in pass, my bad. But 28th in the rush, letting up around 140 yards per game. So you would look at that and you'd say, you know what? We have to go out there and sling the ball against them. But once again, I'm coming back to the fact that our receivers seem to be having a little bit of trouble getting open. The routes, maybe it's the routes that's being called by Pat Shermer and the plays that's being called, you know, just aren't good enough against these teams. But the Giants have struggled a lot in the passing game. And we struggle a lot in the running game. But I, I just have a feeling we'll have a lot more success if we go out there and just pound the rock, run the football against this defense. We'd have a lot more success the past couple of weeks if we simply did that. Against the Cardinals, maybe if Saquon gets, you know, or, you know, in general, the running back group gets like 10 more carries, it's a more manageable game and we're not down like 21 zip or 14 zip, whatever crazy thing it was before we score our first points, you know? Maybe that's what we need to do. I just have a feeling we need to go out there, we need to line up in some strong formation and just run the ball down the line's throw, get something going, get a little bit of play action going. Uh, you know good mix of pass uh, and run, but we have to rely on the run here against the Against the Detroit Lions because the thing I've noticed with the Giants offense is that they make bad passing defenses look great All right, so you got to focus on that a little bit more help out your rookie quarterback take away from stress from him, you know On the Lions offensive side I already mentioned they've been running the ball a little bit more than they usually do But they're still very pass happy they're ranked eighth in the league in offensive passing yards You know, they're putting up like 380 yards a game and they're ranked 18th in the league when putting up rushing yards 103 a game so this is something the Giants have to get better at in general defense throughout the entire year has just been inconsistent on top of inconsistency on top of inconsistency right so you got to come out there and expect Matthew Stafford to pass we don't have a great secondary we have an all right defensive line and a bad linebacking core just calling you know calling everything as it is so what can we do? We can try and stuff that run a little bit and try and make the Lions even more one-dimensional than they already may be. You know, try and stuff that run. I'm looking at Dalvin Thompson. I'm looking at BJ Hill. I'm looking at Dexter Lawrence. Last game, you guys had a terrible game letting Chase Edmonds, the backup running back to David Johnson, run all over this Giants team and making him look like Saquon Barkley. You guys need to be better because there's a good chance Carryon Johnson can do the same thing against us. I want us to defend against the run. I want that to be a focus. Make Matthew Stafford beat us in the pass. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Make uh, Marvin Jones and 
uh, whoever, I think it's Kenny Galladay is their second receiver, make those guys try to beat us, and I think we'll have a chance. But, you know, in general, guys, do I think we can really win this game? I don't know. It's a toss-up. It's really a toss-up. I didn't even, you know, going back to just a couple videos ago, I didn't even think we'd come in here being 2-5. and five. I thought we'd be 3-4. and four. You know, we're still only two games out of the division and whatnot, but realistically speaking, we're, we're probably not, or more so definitely not going to make the playoffs. And this is a Lions team that does have a chance in their division, a better chance than we do. And it's a good Lions team. You know, it's a good offense, you know, a very average defense against a New York Giants team that's uh, rebuilding in a transition year and an offense that can't seem to figure it out with their offensive line and a defense that doesn't know whether they want to be one in the league that could step up to the Patriots or whether they want to be one in the league that lets the Arizona Cardinals look like one of the best teams in, in football. So it's really a toss up. And the Giants have been known throughout their history to win games that they shouldn't win. So I'm not going to say anything. You know what? I'm just going out there. I'm going to cheer. Because I already told y'all. I don't even know what direction we should head in. But that's what I got for y'all today. A very indecisive <laughs> video. I'm sorry about that. But I'm sure a lot of fans out there share my opinion. We don't know what exactly to think right now. And I think after this game, we're probably going to find out. Or, you know, maybe by the bye week, just like last year. I'm seeing a lot of last year and this year, wherein we disappointed in the first half. Uh, we're showing flashes that we should not be disappointing, that we should be winning a couple of games. And maybe we'll come back in the second half. Who knows? But a lot of, lot of similarities. Let me know what you all think. Please leave your comments down below. Love to read them. Love your support. Like the video. Helps me out in the algorithm. Share, subscribe. I'm out. You're... Alright guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. Yer.